Okay, what I want to do is talk about the uh, four P's and the six environments and give a simple little tip, ten fingers, right? So each one of these fingers represents something. In my case, this one doesn't work any good because 30 years ago when I was in uh, Japan, I broke it, so it doesn't work quite straight. These two I broke on my motorcycle 10 years ago. The reason I'm mentioning that is if you don't have all ten fingers working properly, you can't grip and hold things like a chainsaw and an axe, etc. So that's the metaphor for explaining to this. All ten fingers are important for you to be able to hold your hands and do things properly and work with them. So let's look at it. First, the four P's. Product, price, promotion, place. These are the things that you can control in your business. You can have a high price like Rolex or a low price like Timex. Product, you can make it out of leather or aluminum. It could be stainless steel. That's your choice. Promotion, you can have a big ass website or you can have radio ads, you can have flyers, expensive TV commercials or nothing or just word of mouth or great viral marketing on YouTube. And place, you can have a few lo locations like Krispy Kreme or many locations like Tim Hortons. That's your choice. So the four P's are the things that you can control. The six environments are the things that you can control but need to respond to. And this is important in business that you don't focus too much on, say, having a competitive price but fail to understand things about the political legal environment. So to be successful in business and marketing, my point is you have to have equal focus on all of these ten things. So economic environment, that's the currency exchange rate. Technological environment, us making this video on YouTube, right? You have the political, legal, regulatory environment. You also have the competitive environment. And you have the geographic environment. And what else do you have? The social, cultural environment. So those are the six environments that influence business. And you have to respond to those changes. For example, the political environment is laws, rules, and regulations. So if you spend all your time thinking about the competition, but didn't understand how a government rule and regulation is going to affect your ability to collect tax on behalf of your clients or other types of things related to um, housing circumstances or so on, then you'd be ignorant of that. The technological environment. One thing that affects companies a lot is forecasting technologies and their use and application in the future. And you've also got things like the geographic environment, which is one of the things I talk about all the time, weather extremes and how weather affects companies and time zones and distances and so on. So the six environments, you have to equally focus on each one. And sometimes too many companies focus just on two or three of them, but not all six equally. So you've got the four Ps and the six environments, ten fingers. I hope that that's helpful.